Okay. Grab it turn. Take one. So yeah, this is my rocket. I'm using a set of custom parts here, if you don't mind, but the basics is all the same, so let's uh, fly. Okay, turn SAS on. Here we don't want to get too fast right away, so we don't throttle up all the way up, but okay, let's just roll. So when I'm doing the first part, you want to go straight up. There is no point in trying to get any downrange speed right now because the atmosphere is too thick. And we have a hard time already keeping it pointed up. Well, since it's gonna try to point every way else except where we want it to go. This thing is unstable, so bear with me for a while. Okay, so now we're just building up speed. And it's a good time now to roll it onto proper heading. So this is the roll program now. And then we try to keep it pointed up as we go along. Now oh yeah, sorry for the crappy image. I'm filming the screen with my cell phone. Best I can do. Alright, so now we're just passing 130 meters a second, climbing to 6,000 meters, and we're gonna keep going until we reach 200 meters per second of vertical speed at about 10,000 meters, and that should be the point where we start our gravity turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're past the 200 mark. Go at 2 minutes, go for gravity turn. Now we jet our boosters. And let a little throttle just to compensate. Now, here is where it gets tricky. We want to keep it at about not any higher than 2 G's acceleration as we go along, otherwise the rocket doesn't point down, but if we throttle it back too far, then it points way too far down, and we go back to the ground, and we really don't want that, right here. Okay, we're at 20 kilometers, kilometers now, and climbing. Bill seems a little scared about all this well he always does he's a chicken okay notice how I'm not pushing the rocket too far into this it's doing the turn all kind of by itself that's why we call it a gravity turn now we're getting a little too fast here try to keep it under the green thingy on the G meter that's a bit of the trick to doing this And this is a kind of a long first stage, which is why this particular design is good for showing you how to do this. Alright, coming up on the 42 kilometer mark at 6, 700 meters per second downrange. Actually, that, that's not downrange speed, that is, that is our total velocity. So we gotta kind of account for the fact that a lot of it is going vertically. So, okay, at this point we're getting ready for staging. So we can split up our boosters in a bit. So you see right now I haven't yet tried to put try to pull our nose anywhere else except the yellow ball thingy on the ADI. And that's in that ball under the screen. And this is the key to the gravity turn. You don't pull the rocket anywhere else than point it directly at your speed vector. Except on pitch over. And that causes you to go into a gravity turn. Well, now we're 
where we ran up the escape tower and the bottom stage. The separate stage also has some modified parts on it, but just because I thought it looks cool with the skirt thingy, I just modified it so fuel flows through it. Just a CFG tweak, not anything too critical. Anyway, this ain't about rocket design as much as just me showing how to pull off the gravity turn maneuver and insert directly into the orbit. Now we're shooting here for a 100 kilometer orbit and I'm gonna try to stick to it, that's uh, the flight plan. You know, most often we just skip all that and go straight to whatever orbit we can achieve and that works too but for the sake of this exercise I don't want to try to reach a target and orbit it and show that it's actually possible to do it. Now we're getting too low now. At this point it's worth mentioning that we're not as much on the gravity turn anymore. We're just trying to reach our target altitude at our target speed and we're just short of it. Now, the orbital speed for a 100 kilometer orbit is 200, 2245 meters a second. Actually, we're just passing that right now, and we are at 85 kilometer altitude. That's a uh, low for us, so we let it over speed. Now, we're still climbing, we have a lot of vertical speed to bleed off, and I believe that at the time we reach our apogee, or apokee as they call it these days, we'll be at a, at a 100 kilometer orbit. Well, actually we won't be at a circular orbit, because of the nature of how orbits work, that's just not gonna happen unless we do some burns to this time. Oh well, we're almost there. I think we're gonna overshoot, but that's okay. We just point the nose down now. Just wanted to show that it is indeed possible to insert directly into a targeted altitude orbit. Now that's kind of hard to do it and requires a lot of practice. I've flown this particular rocket before. Actually, I built it specifically for doing this and demonstrating how to, how it works. And yes, I'm gonna post the uh, add-on parts I made on the forums right next. Okay, so now we are at 98 kilometers and rounding up here. That's why I'm burning down. God damn it. Stop it. Okay. Uh, okay, we got a little, well, this tank is like running on fumes now, so uh, we can just get rid of it. And this is my lower stage, upper stage, I mean. And we are passing the 98.7 kilometer mark, 98.8, and climbing. And I think we're gonna reach 100,000 shortly. Or not. Wait. Yeah, we're almost there. And gone 99.2. At 2260 200, meters a second. That's a little faster, but that's okay. We just. You see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to position the nose so I burn down, so we burn off that excess vertical velocity at the same time as I lose a little bit of forward velocity so we round up now to our target of 100 kilometers and that's vertical speed mark okay now we've done it yeah went a little beyond as you can see so uh, brakes. Now it's all about fine tuning it. We alright, now it's done. So that's that.
that, we are almost circular now. 100 kilometer, kilometers and 2245 2, meters a second. We're still climbing, so now we do a burn down just so we can trim up that excess velocity. And that's a good thing because now that the radius of the planet has changed, we have a little to add to vertical. Ah, well, whatever. Okay, so as you can see, we've done it. Notice the altimeter and the VSI, it's practically not moving. And we're close enough to the target altitude for, for the target velocity for this altitude. So, yeah, we're in a circular orbit, just short of the 12 minute mark. And that's that. That's how you launch into a circular orbit right away. It is possible. And I hope you've learned something because I suck at explaining it. That's that. So, good luck trying it yourself. Don't try it at home, especially if you have neighbors. They might not enjoy it. Or you can just try it on the Kerbal Space Program. Well, the Kerbals don't seem to have neighbors or their neighbors don't care or too scared to complain, I don't know. So that's that. See you next time.